What's up guys, today we're going to watch this video, Pokemon, Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. It was made by Jane in Animations, and yes, this is a Nuzlocke. Why am I watching this video? Because I like Pokemon. Yes, I do like Pokemon. So if you're new here, hi. I've done this before. Last year I made a video about my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke, and the game I played in it was Pokemon Ruby. It was fun, so here I am again, doing another. But this time I attempted to Nuzlocke Pokemon Platinum. I'll explain again. So yeah. She's playing a Nuzlocke Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, so let's see super quickly how a nuzlocke works. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies, and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname... Excuse me? Bobby Juice? Who names their Pokemon Bobby Juice? Excuse me, who? Like... Jamin, couldn't you, like, name it Electrical Mouse? Like, yeah, Pikachu is an electrical mouse, but Bobby Juice, that doesn't make any sense. Pokemon to grow more attached to them. If you still don't understand, that's not my problem. Let's get started. Oh boy, this was my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Pokemon! <laughs> so my friend and neighbor Barry is practically dragging me all over the place with hyperactive squirrel brain frantically trying to get a pokemon as soon as oh yes squirrel brain the official possible from this professor rowan he saw on tv he drags me out to route 201 and is about to leap into the tall grass when hold it you guys know going into the tall grass is practically a death wish right what you're doing is basically suicide Borderline insanity. What absolute moronic lunatics you are. Have you no respect for your lives? Do you have any Pokemon? No. No. Do you want some? And like that, I have a Turtwig. I named him Turt and immediately used him to bash in berries. Ooh. Yo. Look at the face of the gym star. Chimchar. I'm not even joking. Chimchar. I was making my way through the routes, but right as I was about to nab the shinx I found on 202. Don't kill it. No! <sighs> so, no shinx for us. But that's... Oh. The church wig is, is so happy, but he doesn't actually realize what happened. All right, Jinx isn't that great this early anyway. Then I locked eyes with our first trainer, the first battle. Let's see how we fare against youngster Tristan and his level 5 Starly. Oh, oh my god! So in the first trainer battle I ever fought, I almost immediately lose my starter to a critical hit. Why do I suddenly have a very bad feeling about this? Nevertheless, we kept going onward through Jubilife City, where we caught Kronk the Zubat in the cave above Route 204, and Magic... This is kind of funny. Actually, I was thinking this was just going to be a normal video of a Nuzlocke. And I think you actually did a critical hit, Jaden, into the Magikarp, you smell. Carp on 218. Hi, Magikarp. Your name is Puppy. Just outside Puppy. the city, Barry runs up and demands another battle, so I happily bash in his chip jar again. Starly too. I kept on my way, eventually arriving in Orberg City, and nervously challenged Rourke. I was terrified of his Granados, but Turret landed a crit Razor Leaf and one-shot it before it could even do anything. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I have this Pokemon. I have this Pokemon. In Pokemon Go, you know, you know. So that's badge number one for us. I made it to Floroma Town and was really excited because if you didn't know, outside the Valley Woodworks you can find Shellos. And if you didn't know, again, I love Shellos. I ran straight to the grass to get my Shellos encounter and... <sighs> uh, I'm 
not going to pass up an encounter, so I very depressingly caught the shakes and named it failure to vent my sadness and frustration over not getting a slug. While there, we found Team Galactic messing around, stealing electricity and this little girl's dad. So I beat up the grunt guarding the door, broke in, beat up the grunts in the building until turd evolved, then... What? I guess great job. I... I'm proud. And also Jane Animations. If you want to see my animation videos, you can watch my profile picture. It's, I mean, watch my profile picture. Watch my YouTube channel that's called Enzo Troll, as you can see. But, let's continue. Found Galactic Commander Mars at the end of the corridor, who I'm scared of because she's got a fat cat that hits like a semi-truck. But I had a plan. Back in the orbit Fat, fat cat, fat cat. That hits like a semi truck. No. This isn't a normal video. This is a funny Nuzlocke video. But I think this is a true story of her Nuzlocke. Uh, Onyx. Onyx. You're getting captured. I caught Dwayne the Onyx, and I brought him to the fight because in case things got dicey, I would switch him. Why didn't you just call it Rock Johnson? In to buy time and heal up. Instead, Dwayne. Then you would notice less that it was the Rock Johnson. I the think. other Pokemon. Basically, uh, Dwayne was Death Potter. Turt took out Mars' Zubat, and when her ugly came out, Kronk plucked off the orange berry it was holding. But she got hit pretty hard in the process, and since Turt needed a bit of healing before he could get back into it, Dwayne can take a scratch. Look at that. Dwayne is, Dwayne is fine. He's fine, guys. Don't pull the, the sad nose for Dwayne. Dwayne's fine. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! The guy holding the Alright, I'll feet. give him that. I'll give him that. Dwayne gets to live. Somehow, when Dwayne was supposed to die, he hung in there on one HP. And you know what? I respected the hell out of him for it. I let Dwayne live, and Turt was able to take out the Perugly. What a legend. And then I put him back in the box and moved on. In Mount Cornet, I caught a Bronzora named Big Boy, which I happily added to the team. And right before Gardenia's gym, Kronk evolved, which meant no mercy for those flower ladies. Whoa. Badge number two. We slashed the guard bushes in front of the Galactic Building and ran up all the stairs where we fought Galactic Commander Jupiter. Okay. Let's take a look at how that went. No crit. No crit, no crit. Almost. Oh, oh, let's just hit him. Don't crit him. No. Oh my god. We finally were able to beat her, but that fight really knocked the wind out of me. I was shaking on my way back to the Pokemon Center when this lady Cynthia shows up and is like, Egg? Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, even meeting Cynthia wasn't enough to calm my nerves, so to keep my mind off the absolute tragedy we narrowly avoided, I decided to start okay. training up Big Boy on Cycling Road. And then he died. I what? This game and it's... So, before you... So, imagine this. You're playing a game of Pokemon, teaching him something... And then he literally dies. If you're playing Nuzlocke. But if you're playing a normal Pokemon game, and then he faints. Wow. Push up your anime glasses and tell me that steel is weak to fire. Which I know, by the way. The reason I kept Big Boy in was because not only is his defense an iron wall, but he had heat proof, which negates his fire weakness. And then he got crit. So, first step. I'm sorry, big boy. You never had the opportunity to become a big boy. I walked into Wayward Cave and found a Gibble. Yeah. Gibble is an amazing Pokemon. It turns into Garchomp, which is easily one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game that isn't a legendary. Adding it to the team would give us such a huge advantage, and yeah. now there is nothing in my way between that and... Okay. This is going to probably be a long video, but if I can't, I'll just make a part two.
until I can. And we're moving on. We arrived in Heart Home City where I caught DeVito the Ralts, Frog, and the Puppy Wolf. Wolf. We had a clean win against Ventina, and some lady gave us an Eevee I named Mil. Hey, you didn't tell me about Magic Arp Evolve to Gyarados. Eevee. Eevee. We're starting to look better now. I was leveling up DeVito against trainers, and when fighting this lovey dovey couple, what uh, the? I was going to something stupid. Oh no! You're kidding. You're kidding. Yeah, you're kidding. That's why I hate love. In came what the? Shrimp the Scyther I caught on Route 210. Some good news on Route 213, I finally found a shell ass. I named it Swoop, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I know you're not supposed to have a. Wait, it's the East version, right? Favorite child, but Swoop was my favorite child, and I wasn't apologetic about it. I trained it up, and now we got a Gastrodon. Turret yeah. ended up evolving too, so together with Pronk and Swoop, Maylene was defeated, and badge number four was secured. Outside Goodbye. of Pastoria City, I caught a Quagsire named Lol, but when I went to get my Great yeah. Martian counter, I was trying to get a Yanma and accidentally threw a ball at a Wooper. So now we've got Lol and Oops in the box. Then I swept Crasher Wake with Milk, who is now a Jolteon, with the TM Thunder I bought literally next door. I walked out of the gym and Team Galactic set up a bomb. I ran down the grunt who detonated it. Wow. Team Galactic, why? You don't need to set up a bomb in the middle of the place. And we're just seven minutes in. And the actual video is taking one minute. One minute. Eleven minutes. And took him out because he is weak. Cynthia appears again and tells me to bring a charm to her grandma. So I'm like, yes, ma'am. We found her in Celestial Town along with Cyrus, the leader of Team Galactic, who starts some evil Shakespeare speech about how everything is imperfect, so he's got to blow up the world or something. I don't know. I what? wasn't really paying attention. And then he wanted to fight. Puppy took out his measel and I sent out Milk to take Goodbye. care of his combat. But Milk decided he wanted to be lazy and not only miss all his thunders, but also punch himself in the face. What the? Milk! Are you crazy? Wait, what? You can't. No. You can't be doing this. Kronk came out yeah. and killed the Golbat because Milk was being difficult, but I gave him a second chance and he took out the Murkrow. Anyway, oh. here's your dusty charm. I went out and caught a Magnemite named C, then arrived in Canalave City where we barged into Byron's gym and demolished his team with Scoop and Turd. Then Team Galactic Goodbye. sets off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor, so Barry, Professor Rowan's assistant, Lucas and I split up to check on the lakes. As I'm scrolling past all the flopping magic carp, I run into Galactic Commander Saturn, who we swept the floor with. After that, oh, we headed okay. over to Lake Verity, where we did the Again. exact same with Lars. There was a part where Turk got crit and almost died. Oh god. Oh god. But we're fine. He's fine. Finally, we had to go check up on Barry at Lake Acuity, and after trekking Candace's gym Sorry. now, I guess. Now, we've been having some good type matchups with the past few gyms, so I haven't really been nervous about most of them. But Candace uses ice types, which, like, half my team is weak against. Which, you know, nervousness rising. Not only was I at a massive type disadvantage, but the main threats on our team were her Obama Snow because it hits like a truck and sets up hail, and her Frostlass because it'll use the hail from the Obama Snow to heighten its evasiveness with the snow cloak. Bam, double team. And then just sweep my team. I walked in, took a deep breath, which didn't make me feel better at all, and started the battle. Shrimp took out her Sneasel, and Swoop took out her Pile of Swine, almost dying in the process. And then she finally brought out the big bad Obama Snow. Since it's Grass Ice type, I taught Puppy Fire Blast. Yeah, I didn't know it existed. Anyway, I wasn't sure it could one-shot because Puppy's not a special attacker, and lo and behold, it didn't. It, 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 it didn't miss. Eventually, Puppy took it out, but that was absolutely terrifying. Last but not least, Frostlass. I wanted to have Swoop rain dance to get okay. rid of the hail so Frostlass's snow cloak isn't activated, but since Swoop was sitting at a not so chill 20 HP, that wasn't going to work out super great. However, since I didn't want Kronk to be in this fight at all, right before the fight, I swapped her with Failure the Shake. Yep. Sorry. 
sorry, little guy. Failure looked up at the looming death that was Frostlass in front of her, and as I healed up Swoop, Failure was killed in its blizzard. It's really unfortunate we had to resort to it, but I give Failure a salute for stepping up and surrendering its life to the team. Swoop came out, got off the rain dance, and after a close battle, was able to pull through. We won, but it wasn't without sacrifice. We had a moment of silence for Failure, the true MVP of the fight. Gone, uh, not forgotten. Failure. Now we can climb the rocks to Lake Acuity, and when we got up there, Barry's got snot dripping down his face, crying in the snow because he got beat up by Jupiter, who looks at me and is like, See ya, I'm going to Veilstone HQ. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Veilstone. We start running through the base trying to find Cyrus, but when fighting this scientist, psychic. Come on. Oregon 2 freaks no. me out. It is way too that. powerful, way too bulky, and it's way too weird. I do like Oregon 2, though. I like a plush of Oregon 2. It's very cute. wasn't okay. Kurt came out and curb stomped the Porygon 2 out of vengeance. That's but what she did. I wasn't taking that too well. My heart breaking. I'm like actually sad. <laughs> but life doesn't stop when your dog dies, so I had to keep trucking and brought Law the Quagsire to the team. With an intense, blood curdling thirst for revenge, I stormed into Cyrus's room. Milk took out his team in no time. I snatched his master ball and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mess Spirit, Azel, yeah. and Yuxi are all being held captive. Fight! Unlike Cyrus, Saturn was swept too. After releasing the late guardians, we head to Mount Cornet because Cyrus. Okay. Lol takes out both the Bronzars, Mars is Frugly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, you know, it was all smooth sailing, right? Well. No! Golbat versus really Golbat! What? Oh my god, no, it has Giga Drain? Giga Drain. Giga Drain. No. No, oh no, oh no! It was Goodbye, a crit! Lo. Not only did I not know that Golbat had Giga Drain for some reason, but it also got a crit! So I was starting to feel bad. But then I started panicking. The thing is, after you fight Mars and Jupiter, you have to go into the distortion world and fight Cyrus and Giratina. If Cynthia forces us into the distortion world without us being able to get a new member, we're in massive trouble. We finish up the battle and Cyrus starts his whole spiel about how the world is imperfect, blah blah blah, everything must die except for me. Then he gets swallowed up by Giratina, a hole opens a rip in space leading to the distortion world, and I'm kind of oh, just standing off to the side totally Gira my thumbs Gira like, Tina. Cynthia, please Gira don't shove me in there Gira with no Cynthia, can I, can I go? I have something to do. Our world is destroyed. Are you ready? No, I'm not! Let me go! I'm free! Holy crap. Let Get me out of here. Goodbye. I'm sorry, lol. We just got you. And then you died. But luckily, remember when I accidentally caught that whooper while trying to get a Yanma? It's time, oops. You are no accident. You're our lucky star who will carry us to victory. We got oops leveled up, came back to the sphere pillar where Cynthia was just sitting there okay. waiting for us, and hopped in. Everything is topsy-turvy, and the late guardians are telling me to push boulders into holes. And suddenly I'm on a floating crest of land with Cynthia, who's basically like, Cyrus, get lost and never come back. And Cyrus didn't like that. So he came at me. Oops took out his hound doom, and his Gyarados came out, so I switched to Milk. But I was very terrified, because Cyrus's Gyarados has Earthquake. So if Milk misses his thunder here, he dies. And Milk is notorious for missing his thunders. But it hit. Milk lives another day. He also took out Cyrus's Crobat and Haunch Pro and tripped okay. finished up his Weavile. Cyrus steps aside, yeah. and suddenly, Pretty it's good. just me and the Angel of Darkness himself. Here it is. Oh no. This is... What's happening? I 
I threw the master ball and like that, it was over. I saved the world. Now to get back to my gym badges. I arrived at Sunny Shore City and started making my way through Volker's gym. I know he's the eighth okay. gym leader and he's supposed to be tough and apparently he's depressed because everyone who challenges him isn't good enough and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. We have oops and none of his Pokemon can do anything about it. It's not like they have Giga Drain or anything, right? I checked. Oops, it was just earthquake and everything. And at the end, I'll admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't crit. If you crit Giga Impact, that would be really a... Holy, but it's all good. We're all good. And with that, off to Victory Road we went, where we caught ourselves a gap by I named Flakes. Would have been nice to have one, I don't know, near the beginning of the game, just like in Wayward Cave. You know, but whatever. Better late than never. It's good to have just in case something goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. Flakes is basic. Yeah, it is. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! You're kidding. Oh, dear. You that are the dead. Straw that broke the camel's back. After Puppy died, I stepped back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible okay. team we can build. The Elite Four here goes pretty hard, so I couldn't go what? in willy-nilly just hoping for the best. After literally a few hours of calculations and research, I settled on a team I thought would give us the highest possibility of winning. I added Flakes to the team in place of Puppy, and with a heavy heart, left Milk and Kronk behind as I brought C the mm -hmm. Now Magnazone and Colgate the Togekiss I had from okay. the eggs that they gave me. Even though this I'm animation sad to is not great. I and saw Kronk into the final already, battles but... with us, they won't yeah. be forgotten. This and it doesn't cool. negate the fact they were such huge assets to the team, and I wouldn't have made it this far without them. I'll see you guys on the other side. I took a step towards the doors of no return, and immediately got interrupted by Barry, who wanted to have one last fight. Anyway... Yeah. Welcome. This is the Elite Four. The battle starts and oh C takes God. out Aaron Zeon Mega and Vespic Quinn. Really? Goof takes yeah. out his Rapion and Colgate takes out his Scissor and Heracross. Next up is Bertha. Bertha loves ground types, but Turt and Oops had a smooth time smashing through her team. I felt a horrible shiver yep. when Rhyperior came out, but this went well. On to Flint. Flint has a pretty scary team, but luckily Oops and Flakes had no trouble plowing through them as well. And with that, we're on to the last member, Lucian. Now, Shrimp hasn't had much time to shine in these fights so far, so I decided I wanted to let her go all out. She set up sword stances and bullet punched everything. Proud of you, Shrimp. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. A trainer who's been known to crush dreams in a single battle, and many still fear to this day. I took a deep breath. Things are going surprisingly well, and I don't know how to feel about it. But I looked up, and there she was. At this moment, I have only one last objective. Yeah. Defeat Cynthia. She leads with Spiritomb, which has no weaknesses, so I sent out Turt to hit it as hard as possible. Flakes okay. takes out her Togekiss, and then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one of the mm. toughest boss Pokemon in what? the entire Why didn't franchise. You and rightfully it? so, that thing was made by Satan himself, and I'm sure even the, he fears what he's what? created. I immediately the, switched to Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can okay. lead us to victory here. I planned to put it to sleep with Yawn, and then Ice Beam it until it died. That was our only hope. Okay. But then, Oops is crit. And that was it. Nothing on Goodbye. my team can take a hit from this monster, and even if they could, they couldn't do much damage back. I sat there in disbelief, knowing there wasn't anything I could have done, and the battle is basically unwinnable now. I brought out Shrimp to bullet punch it so he could get in a little bit of damage, but she was killed. Colgate tried to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, I'd accepted defeat. Only Turt, C, and Flakes were left. It's Flakes came out, and against all odds, oh, he evolved. Flakes outsped Cynthia's Garchomp and killed it. I didn't think he could do it. He was two levels weaker, and I just, I, I 
I don't know. I, did, I just didn't think he could outspeed it. Suddenly, there was a chance. We could win this after all. Cynthia brings out her Milotic, which C took out with a few Thunderbolts. Blake's took mm -hmm. out the Lucario with Dig. Look, my Earthquake TM is on school, and we all know what happened there. Finally, oh. our last Pokemon comes out. Roserade. Blake's went in for the Dragon yeah, Claw, so, and so the battle is over. Oh. One. Okay. As Cynthia's congratulating me, a sudden feeling of overwhelming guilt washes over my entire body. So intense, it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. Something here isn't right. This Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was probably one of the longest videos that I ever made. And the first reaction video that I ever made. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.